Hello coaches, Coach Sloan here, Offensive Coordinator, Washington High School, Indiana. Today we're going to be talking about Zone Bash. Uh, so uh, again, if you haven't seen my recent videos, our zone blocking scheme for inside, mid, and wide are all the exact same. Um, so here, when we talk about Zone Bash, we're using the same blocking scheme. Um, However, what, we're, what the O-line is going to need to know is they're blocking for the quarterback, whereas the running back is kind of a, a free range uh, running out there by himself. So this is more of a goal line type running. Once again, we have an over, under, tight, and a 3-3 three, three stack. I left my mic out of there. 3-3 three, three stack uh, over here. Um, so uh, we got this this backside tackle so now if we're running like split or sorry uh, zone bash it's gonna be zone bash left uh, so the offensive line knows hey we're zone blocking for the left side that's when our running back is lined up on the left okay he's running sidecar here notice the backfield action stays the same for everything because this is once again a goal line play um, that we're just really kind of going over hey what does the blocking scheme look like here so uh, with that being said our running back our Play side tackles got head up to outside. Our guard center guard has gap on down linebacker. So boom, 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 boom. He's got in and up. So our quarterback's eyes are over here on this defensive end looking for his read. Um, if this defensive end shoots inside, our quarterback's going to give it to our running back. If defensive end shoots upfield, our quarterback's going to take it. Once again, the O line is blocking for our quarterback this entire time. So running back is going to be across the quarters, back quarterback's face, kind of like settle down, sprint out. Regardless if he gets the ball or not, he's carrying out that fake. Our quarterback is then running through more of like a wide zone running, uh, looking for the path of least resistance and something outside. We don't want our quarterback getting hurt. We're not going to have him go more of an inside zone running scheme. Uh, when in doubt, give it to the running back. I'd rather survive another down and play another down than I would to have an injury or a, 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 a turnover. So over here, once again, same thing. Um, head up to outside, gap on down, um, gap on down, and up. Apologies. They're going to the will linebacker. Uh, quarterback again. Reading this guy, where's he running here? Probably gonna go through the A gap. Uh, we got a tight zone, uh, head up to outside. Uh, uh, so excuse me, a tight front. Now over here, who who can who, one of our which one of our guards can take one of these tackles every day, every night? Let's say this guy can take him on at all times. So he, he's looping up. Uh, our, our guard and center here, eyes on Will, in and up out here. Where's our quarterback running? One of these two gaps here. Uh, down here, we got a 3-3 three, three stack look. Uh, so head up to outside. Hey, we're all stepping in, we're all stepping in. Eyes on Will, these two guys, eyes on Mike. In and up, running back, take the ball, quarterback, choose your hole. So that is a zone bash. It's more of like a zone read. Uh, most of our zones uh, in our offense will always be a zone read. We want to establish the quarterback's run threat presence. It'll really help out our RPOs and it really helps out your play actions. Um, once again, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, comment something you'd like to see next. Anything else that you would do differently. Um, uh, any type of inserts, let's get a thread going. Thank you.